Yes! As we slept warm in our beds last night, someone in our area cried themselves to sleep because they were hungry. As we pulled the sheets up tight and shut out a chill, someone nearby was dealing with yet another night of cold. As we laid our head on our pillow, thinking not a bit about how fortunate we are to have a roof over our head, someone not far from us found that spot on the streets where they figured they would be safe enough to get a good night's sleep. As we ate our breakfast this morning, there is a child somewhere in our community that is going to start the day hungry. As we drive our toasty warm car to work, there is someone standing in the cold temperatures watching your car pass by as they wait for the bus. As we report to a job that provides a decent paycheck and health insurance for our family, there is someone in our community showing up to the only low pay, no benefit job they can find. This happens every day and too often we spend too little time appreciating what we have, praying for those who struggle are figuring out what we can do to help. It's not that we're all necessarily selfish, it's just that we need occasional reminders to work to help when and where we can. We are walking right beside people every day who struggle in ways we cannot imagine. Now, if, if you were able to watch this video on a computer or some sort of mobile device, you are on the list of very fortunate people who have access to these devices and access to the internet. Let's all take a moment to pray for those who are struggling every day. Let's set aside our judgment, our disapproval, and our condemnation. Here's an important point. When we pray, let's open our hearts to the possibility that God is going to ask for your hands and your feet today. In prayer, it can be easy to throw the burden at the feet of God and not allow for the possibility that you may be used as an answer to the prayer that someone else is speaking. Too often, people of faith forget that prayer is a two-way street. We speak to God, but we forget that God may be placing a burden on our heart that requires our action. I know, scary, right? Pray boldly, my friends. Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.